problem spots that you want to know about right now and maybe avoid as well. Wildwood and Meadowdale in northeast Columbus and also Sayada Darby Road in Hilliard. Yeah, there are power, power lines that are down in both of those areas right now. And 10 TV's Laura Borchers joins us live from that scene. Laura, how's the progress on the cleanup there? Jeff, it is coming along, but you have to imagine these AEP crews are up against quite a quite a bit. Take a look at them now. We've seen them up in the bucket before they're now as you can see raising up in it again i can tell you down here on the ground it's freezing imagine going up with that wind whipping at your face this is all to get this roadway safe once again the roadway right here on Sayedo darby is closed down it's after a salt truck trying to make things a little safer for uh, those traveling down this roadway was throwing a little salt and as he raised the back of his truck bed to get the last of the salt out the truck bed itself became snagged on one of the power lines out here. Now it is a Hilliard City uh, salt truck that was involved. It was poised and ready to throw the salt. Now we can tell you that uh, Hilliard police officers arrived just after this happened around three in the morning. They are currently blocking off the traffic right here at the intersection of Sayado Darby and Haywood. And this is not the only incident involving down power lines. I can tell you, looking over to northeast Columbus, more power problems. There is one at the area near Wildwood and Meadowdale Roads. This is just off of Sunbury. Officers tell us a tree crashed into electrical lines there, and you can see the aftermath of all of that thrown into the roadway. AEP is working on both of these scenes as we speak. Now, one of the big things they've been working on here is making this pole upright once again. The pole that you can see here was actually tilted downwards and it I'm about to lose my hat again, folks. <laughs> it's windy out here. And, and again, that's what these power crews are up against. They're trying to get things uh, back safe once again so that this roadway can be used for those people who do need to get out and about today. Now keep in mind if you come to an intersection that does have a power outage and it has no light on the stoplight, you need to use that as a four-way stop. Reporting live in Hilliard, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.